local business owner who's putting thousands of dollars into reopening a West Side laundromat is having to spend a little bit more after his break-in. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker explains why this is much more than a business to that owner and to the community. I want to stay open 24 hours because not everybody has a 9 to 5 work schedule. Daniel Auburn knows it's hard having any business stay open constantly, but especially one like a laundromat. That's why he has all these security cameras to make sure things run smoothly even when he's not there. If I see somebody in here that's just sitting, they're not doing laundry, they're just hanging out, I try to keep those people out because... It makes my customers uncomfortable. But the other morning, these two people came into Hoosier Family Laundry, but they weren't there to clean their dirty clothes. He came over and snoop, kind of started snooping around the doors. Um, there's a table inside there that had I had my power tools sitting on. With one kick, a man was in the office and in a little more than 10 seconds, stole the power tools and then was out the door with his friend, leaving Daniel to deal with the mess left behind. He cracked the door uh, right down the middle. We had to buy all new hardware and we had to reinforce the door frame. And that was remodeling work Daniel didn't expect he'd have to do, but he's taking it all in stride. Since he started fixing up the laundromat at the beginning of December, the community response has been positive. We actually opened earlier than anticipated because of we, we while we were remodeling, we had so many people coming over. Hey, are you guys open and, and you know, want to use the service? The dire need for this place is why Daniel isn't letting the rotten actions of one person spoil it for everyone else. At the end of the day, we're here to serve customers. Unfortunately, that guy wasn't one of our customers, and I'm not going to let him ruin that for the people that, that we're here for. Working for you on the West side. Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. And Daniel knows he more than likely won't get his tools back, but he did file a police report and officers told him they know of the two people. If you recognize them or know where they are, Daniel wants you to get in touch with him or the police.